veil gave the ring of the holy knight to the divine dragon. Apologies, my lord. The ring of Azure Twins lost as well. Twice my four hounds failed me. You do understand the gravity of all this? Yes. And Veil? Still in a deep slumber. No matter how much I amplify her draconic impulses, she won't awaken. She refuses her true nature. In that case, take this. What is it? An enchanted helmet. It will strengthen the spell you cast on her. My power with your spell will correct what is wrong with Vale. I see. Keep it safe. Use it when the time is right. Of course. As you will it. There is... Something else I would like to discuss. What? Pardon me, Lord Sombron, but Lady Vale is your only child, correct? My only living child? Yes. That is correct. Of course. I was speaking from fear, not fact. Forgive me. Why ask such a thing? Vale believes one of her siblings is alive. I thought it best to raise with you. She spoke of an unbroken dragonstone. Hmm. But she must be mistaken. We both know the truth. Your children were killed in the war a thousand years ago, all but Vale. I remember one who stood above the rest with hair and eyes like fire. What was the name again? Something like... Zephyr. My lord. I do not remember all my children's names or faces, but that one I killed myself. Yes. Moments later, I was imprisoned. Did you collect the body? I... I did not. Then I rescind what I said. <laughs> The answer is no, and if you find that offspring, bring me a corpse this time. Yes, Lord Sombra, as you wish. Thanks for arranging the ship for us, Alfred. Thank my mother, not me. When I said we were headed to Illusia, she got one of the fleet's finest lined up. How was everything at the capital? Well enough. There haven't been any attacks since we left for Brodia. What a relief. I told Mother what the other side's been up to. Mother after sovereign blood. She was shocked, of course, to hear about King Morian and King Hyacinth. Understandably so. As for the destruction at Flora Port, the royal family will spare no expense on aid. Though it may be years before the harbors return to its original beauty. We must defeat the Fell Dragon so that such horrors never happen again. What's our plan? When we arrive, we head straight for Illusia Castle? First, we should try to learn what we can from the Illusian people. Rings or no rings, if we don't know what we're up against, we could lose everything. Besides, there's something I need to find out. And what's that? Whether Vale is alright. Hmm. From our vantage. The Hounds certainly didn't seem pleased. They may attempt to erase her personality. If anyone can do it, that woman can. I know Vale killed my mother. Nothing we've learned changes that. But I can't help but worry about her. We hope she's not hurt. Yes. I suppose she's a victim in this too. And she did risk her neck to give us the ring. Or it was all an act and she's just gaining our trust to stab us in the back. Again. That's worth considering. We don't know enough to rule anything out. Still, I want to trust her. Divine One, excuse me. Two ships flying Illusion colors approach from ahead. Any sign of the hounds? None. However, it appears the enemy intends to attack us. Then we've got no choice but to fight them on the water. Prepare for battle, everyone.
We're fighting on two fronts. Good news is, the ship's got flame cannons that'll set fires and slow down the enemy. Be careful, though. Wouldn't want our allies to get caught in the blaze. <sighs> Since the King's death, my country has become something unrecognizable. Elusia's armies serve Elusia no longer, but the Hounds. Is this truly what I meant to do? What a lovely scene! Devoted to you. As you wish, Divine One. The stage is mine. Please. I'm ready. My will is firm.
Death does not frighten me. I know my... Victory is mine. Unforgivable. I will atone. <laughs> They're nice and distracting. Put up a good fight.
may all find salvation. survive this battle. Saying such a thing to my foe, I must be going senile. Why don't you join me? I'm the Divine Dragon. My army is working to defeat the Fell Dragon and take back Illusion. The Divine Dragon? I know, you're devoted to the Fell Dragon, but... I am allied with Princess Ivy, if that helps. Princess Ivy is alive, as far as I'm concerned. Where she stands, there lies Illusion. My devotion has always been to the royal family itself. Please, take me with you. Of course. Linden, long ago I served as a royal soldier. I may be getting on in years, but with my magic, I can still open these soldiers' eyes to the truth. Fun! Hey. 
Thanks! No problem. Time to pray. Only what I deserve.
deserve no less. If I may. Illusia is in sight. So, I've returned. Are you all right? Whatever has become of Illusia, I'll still do what I must. Give report is a little farther north. I suggest sailing there. Understood. It's near the castle and the cathedral, so we should be able to gather intel there. I will inform the others. returned without you, but we'll get you back this time. Just hang on. Illusia, a return then to the land where we were separated from our fellow emblems. If reunited, we can at last grant the power we offer once every thousand years. We should discuss our other option. That is, the far greater power only we know about. Yes, of course. The miracle. We could use that power at long last. I would suggest Lumera. I don't like this idea. We shouldn't perform the miracle. We have to think of the future. I agree. The whole future. We can't favor anyone with it now. Favor someone? We're talking about Lumera. We can prevent a tragedy. Please. Those of us who were scattered in other lands are still learning all that's happened. Some of us were at her castle. Some were not. It's natural to see things differently. So, we are not all in agreement. At least at present. Using our power every thousand years is one thing. The miracle. We've never used it before. Never in all of existence. The cost of doing so is not small. Perhaps we should never, ever use it. Of course, we are not all here. What might the others think? What might they decide? I have returned. Hey, uh, Zephia. How'd the report to Lord Sombron go? Bet he was mad we lost the rings, huh? Very. <laughs> Knew it! So he's gonna punish us, right? Finally, yes. In fact, no. It was a scolding, nothing more. He impressed upon me the gravity of our role. That's all? Appreciated. Has Lady Vale woken up yet? No. 
That spell you keep casting on her. This is getting reckless. We should dispense with the magic for now. Allow her to return to normal. The spell will soon have a more stable effect. Lord Sombron gave me an enchanted helmet. What? For her to wear. A helmet imbued with his power that will amplify the spell I cast on her. Finally, I can erase the defect from existence. I intend to use it shortly. I would like to have some good news for my next meeting with Lord Sombron. Speaking of news, our warships ran into the Divine Dragon's forces. No luck stopping them. Sounds like they're sailing to Illusia as we speak. Huh. Moving faster than I expected. Yeah. Only a matter of time before they're knocking at our door. Oh! Want me to buy us some time? I can do it! Of course, dear. So good of you to volunteer. But I can't have you going all alone. Mavia, you'll accompany her, won't you? Very well. What? Why? I'd be fine on my own! You are good, of course. But you'd achieve even greater success with Mavia at your side. Well... Okay. All the more praise for me then, right? Zephia, I ask one thing. Wait to cast your spell on Vale again until we return. All right, Mavia. Then we depart. We'll be back before you know it. Hmm. Ah, uh, Marvier. He's way too attached to that other veil. Truly. But it doesn't matter at the moment. And won't as long as he stays in his place. The four hounds are my family. I will always love Mavia. Always. As long as he obeys. Now we have a serious matter to discuss. What Lady Vale said about having a sibling. Right, right. That Dragonstone of hers, something about it being whole, not broken. Yes, exactly. We need to look into that. The situation bears... examination. Here we are. Give report. I... Hmm. What's wrong? This is a port town. It's typically bustling with people. Why is it so quiet? I see someone over there. Maybe they can tell us. Divine One, wait, that's... One of the corrupted. Yes. And surely not the only one here. You're right. They must have spread through the whole town, which means... I'm afraid so. Does the Fell Dragon mean to destroy Illusia too? But, but that, that makes no sense. All I know is we can't turn a blind eye. We've got to get rid of them. No. We move on. What? And abandon the people here? Princess Ivy, tell us what you want to do. We leave this place. But there are people in danger. We have a responsibility to help them. That's what we did at Flora, isn't it? We got there right after the attack. There were people to save. Look around. We're too late. Far too late. There aren't any survivors. I would have wished nothing more than to help the people here. But with every passing moment, more lives may be lost elsewhere. We cannot waste our time on the dead. We must protect the living. This is terrible. I don't think I could abandon a town like this, but it's not my decision. You'd already recognize the choice Princess Ivy would make, Divine One? Impressive. No, that was... Thank you for your support, Divine One. Now, to the castle. Aww, you're gonna cut and run just like that? Who's there? It's me, your old pal Marnie. Oh, and Marvier is here too. We meet again. I really wish you'd decided to stay and fight the corrupted. It would have been so much easier. But the divine chicken's afraid of them. Isn't that right? The divine dragon was thinking only of what's best for everyone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just shut up. <laughs> 
Will ya? You're annoying me. You guessed right. The port fell a long time ago. But I won't let you just walk away. Wait, how's this for a deal? Drop your emblem rings and you can go. I don't think so. I figured. Worth a shot though, right? Well, time to fight then. And don't worry. We brought lots and lots of the corrupted. Just for you. Tell me one thing first. Please. I need to know. What? Vale. Is she alright? Lady Vale. She... Shush, Marmier. We didn't come here to blab secrets. Freed, we can't answer that, Divine One. Our lips are sealed. Tell you what, when this is over, I'll whisper it into your dead little ears. How's that? We'd hope to learn whatever we could from the people of this town. But with no one left alive, we're glad to get the truth out of you, one way or another. Mavier, take. Zephia permitted us to use emblem rings? Nah, I just went ahead and borrowed a couple. You did what? Marnie, when this is discovered... I'll be what? Scolded? Punished? Please! We're Lord Sombron's favorites! Besides, if I capture even one more ring, imagine the praise I'll get! I'll be a hero! Even in that case, he will not forgive you. Ugh! the lecture, okay? Just put it on! If you ruin my chance to shine, I won't forgive you! One, the flame cannons! With those, you can burn right through that miasma! Why the Divine Dragon Dock here? The place is infested! Guess I've got no choice but to cut my way through these moldering bastards. Alright. Mysterious. to serve. No mistakes. Let's do this! 
my pleasure. I'm listening. What you got? Tell me what to do. Understood. Understood. If it isn't the Divine Dragon. I know you. You're that knight I met at Brodia Castle, right? Saphir of the Royal Guard, at your service. Prince Diamond sent word that your ship was headed to Illusia. With the situation at the castle under control, I thought I'd come give you a hand. I'm glad you decided to join us. When Prince Diamond wrote us about the King's death, I felt like I had no choice. It's my duty to protect the kingdom His Majesty left behind. Diamond will rule that kingdom. Bring it on! Oh, 
Just getting started. The weak die.
have held back? Waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. See what I made up. Emblem engage. I cannot allow this. No one desires war. To the death.
Much improved. I won't flinch. Thanks. Devoted to you. I'll go first. <sighs> Rest now. Forgive me, Emblem. I know this imposes a burden upon you. Yep.
Say the word. For King Morian. future into hope.
go first. <gasps> We must retreat, now. I can't go back. I'm just gonna get an earful from Lord Sombron. Or worse, And after all your nonsense about being exempt from scolding. Now, let's hurry to Lady Vale. Wait, tell me. Is Vale all right? Lord Sombron has given Zephia a new kind of magic to use on Lady Vale. If she does, the true Lady Vale... We'll never awaken again. The others think this is a happy outcome. But I... I have always worried for her safety. You really do want to protect her, don't you? I have said too much. Marnie, I am returning now, with or without you. You can't just leave me... Hey, wait up! <sighs> is it a good idea to just let them go? We took back the rings. Besides... I have a feeling that Vale is going to need him right at her side. Emblem Makaya, Emblem Roy, glad to finally have you back with us. I never lost faith that we would return to you. Thank you. On the shadowy moor and at Flora Port, it pained me to fight against you. I'm sorry for putting you through that. I promise to never let that happen again. I can't believe there are so many of the Corrupted in Illusia. The Fell Dragon is behind the rise of the Corrupted in this kingdom. Sovereign blood is no longer enough for him. He's abducting the people of Illusia. When Sombron drains them, they turn into the Corrupted. That's why they're everywhere. You mean the Corrupted we killed were... <sighs> Som, Brodia, Firinae. They'll all suffer if the Corrupted leave my kingdom. We must act now. If any of my people still remain, I must do all I can to save them. Those two came all the way here to stop us from reaching Illusia Castle. The Four Hounds must be desperate to keep us at bay. Let's find out why. 